what your stool says about your gut health. So, let's talk poop. I know, I know, it's an uncomfortable subject for most people. But, everybody poops, and it's an important indicator for your health. Your regular poop check can reveal a lot about you. You can discover a lot about your excrement by observing its color, shape, frequency, smell, and buoyancy. Color. What does the color tell you about your poop? Brown. In the world of poop, brown feces are rather common. You're doing well if your feces are brown in color. The mixture of your liver's bilirubin and bile gives the brown color. Green. Another typical poop color is green. It occurs when your excrement passes through the digestive system too quickly. You turn green because the bilirubin and bile did not have enough time to combine. Or, you could have eaten a lot of green food. Yellow. You may want to look into this issue right away, because you may not be pooping sunshine. It can indicate that you have celiac disease, a chronic pancreatitis condition, or a gallbladder issue. Red. This could be blood in your stool and is a reason to visit your doctor. It may be an indication of gastrointestinal bleeding, ulcerative colitis, inflammation, malignancy, or hemorrhoids. Black. Another color that suggests possible bleeding is black. It might indicate gastrointestinal bleeding, which means you could be bleeding somewhere in your body, from your mouth to your rectum. White or gray. If your poop comes out white or gray, that can be unexpected. It can result from taking anti-diarrhea medication, or it might indicate that there isn't enough bile in your excrement, which could indicate a more serious issue. So, let's continue with the next topic, shape and consistency. The Bristol Stool Scale is a diagnostic medical tool designed to classify the form of human excrement into seven categories, separate, small, hard lumps. This shape indicates that you haven't pooped in a while and are suffering from severe constipation. This is one of the most common poop problems. All your poop is dry because it stays in the digestive tract for a long time. Lumpy sausage. This is also the feces of people with constipation. Keep an eye on your poop and make sure it's not your regular poop. Get plenty of fiber, exercise, and water. Sausage shaped with cracks. This is good poop. You're well on your way to the perfect poop. Drink water and keep exercising. Snake-like, smooth and soft. This is the perfect poop. This poop looks soft and smooth. You eat well. You exercise. You drink a lot of water. You take care of your digestive tract. And that poop is your trophy. Soft blobs with clear edges. You have mild diarrhea. It can be a sign of inflammation allergies, or irritable bowel syndrome. Soft blobs with jagged edges. This is diarrhea, and if it persists, it could be a sign of a bigger problem. Or liquids. You have full-blown diarrhea, and your body is trying to expel something. It could be parasites, bacteria, or some kind of infection. If it's happening regularly, it's something that you want to check out with your doctor. All right, are you still with me? Then let's look at frequency. Some people go every three days, another twice a day. Most people think that pooping once a day is normal and if you go more or less that it is not normal. But good news for anyone who deviates from this once a day. There are quite a few differences between people. And there is no weird or normal. Everyone has their own poop rhythm. And everything from three times a day to once a week is normal. But color and consistency are far more important than frequency. So, to the next topic. Smell. It's poop, it smells. That's normal. Nobody has poop that smells like roses. If it starts to smell really rancid, then that could be a severe gallbladder issue. It smells because you're not breaking down the fat. It can also be a sign of infection like Giardia. If your poop gets a really strong odor, Tell your doctor your poop really stinks. But maybe not use the megaphone, okay? On to the last topic, buoyancy. Poop should sink, like a smooth torpedo ready to take off when you flush. If it's not sinking, 
that might mean you have too much gas in your digestive tract from some of the foods you ate. If it is happening often, it could mean your body is not producing enough enzymes, or it might mean something is causing your digestive tract inflammation. So, the bottom line of this video, not having a good gut can lead to inflammation, hormone problems, autoimmune disease, and a host of other problems. Everybody should have healthy poops at their own rhythm. So, do your poop check and don't be afraid to talk poop. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Please like and subscribe for more amazing videos.